Good morning. Today is October 19, 2020. My name is Father Trap, and I would like to welcome you to today. As usual, before we begin, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, my friends, let's begin. My friends, today we are focusing on the life of St. Luke. And as with many of the other apostles, not much is known about St. Luke's early life. Um, for him, his name is Latin in origin, so it is deduced that he was not a Jew. However, this is not facts. But the earliest known document paints him as a Syrian from Antioch. Apart from this, St. Paul, in his letter to the Colossians, chapter 4, verse 14, states that he was a trained physician. Through his writings, he can be seen as well as a very educated man. His Greek was polished as that, such as classic writers like Xenophon. Apart from this, concerning his ministry, it is believed that he became associated with the disciples of Jesus after Christ's death. Through his gospel, he seems to have been very close to Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Saints Paul and Mark. When Paul began his second missionary journey, Luke became a member of that party, joining Paul in Throas and traveling to Macedonia with him. Luke then probably remained at Philippi, rejoining Paul when he had finished his third missionary journey and was returning to Jerusalem. The Acts of the Apostles further say that Luke accompanied Paul when Paul was taken as a prisoner to Rome to be judged by Caesar. The contents of Paul's letter to Philemon and Timothy also reveal that Luke probably stayed with Paul until Paul's death. A document called the Anti-Martianite Prologue says that Luke died unmarried in Greece at the age of 84. According to Nikiforos, a Greek historian, Luke's tomb was located in Thebes, whence his relics were divided as follows. The body, his body, was placed in the Basilica of St. Justina in Italy. His head was placed in the Cathedral of St. Vitus in the Czech Republic, and a rib was left at his tomb in Thebes in Greek. Today, my friends, October 19th, we celebrate the life of St. Luke. Let us pray now for his life. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, who inspired your servant Luke the physician to outline in the gospel the love and healing power of your Son, graciously continue in your church this love and passion to heal the and to praise and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Friends, today St. Luke reassures us of the importance of ensuring the word is known and the glory of God is seen throughout the world. As usual, I would like to thank you for tuning in. And as we always say here, make today your best day until we meet again.